Well, what an interesting afternoon it's been. Um, yeah, I got around to stripping the gearbox on the uh, Motor Pecan D52. This is a five-speed gearbox, um, the likes of which I've never really encountered before. Uh, usually the way that a motorcycle gearbox works is that you've got a thing called a selector drum and you have selector forks that move the gears up and down shafts. Uh, this one's totally different. Uh, this one has got this pin that slides up and down. It's got detents in there and then it engages with one of five gears. Those gears mesh with this shaft, so you've only got one that's driven at each time. It's really quite clever. I mean, it makes for a very, very compact unit, but... Uh, it's cleaned up much, much better than I expected. I've managed to knock out all of the uh, bearing races uh, without any damage to the cases, which is what I was most worried about. Um, no chance of replacing those whatsoever. I have to say, a lot of the corrosion that was in the bottom had come from a few washers that had completely disintegrated. And also this component here which as you can see has lost an awful lot of its material. Uh, weirdly enough though, I think it is still usable. It's part of the starter mechanism. Um, why it's got that sort of drum around it, I do not know. I'm not sure what the function of that is. I'm gonna have to try and understand that. But uh, the, the pull looks okay. The gears are still dirty, I haven't finished cleaning them yet, but although they're pitted, I think they're usable. Um, this is not going to be a machine that's going to do 50,000 miles a year. It's probably only ever going to do about 5 miles a year. And But those gears, I'd say they're not too bad, still need some cleaning, but a lot more hopeful than I uh, thought. These bearings are all completely seized. That one is completely disintegrated. That one's seized. That's an oil seal that I had to vandalize to get the uh, one of the um, bearings out. But the rest of it, well, it's not too bad. Go on to focus your horrible thing. There we go. I actually think that's gonna be okay. Another component I'm slightly worried about is this one. That's the gear change rod. Although it looks awful. And again, that's where a fair bit of the corrosion's come from. But I think it's still usable. So anyway, lots of new parts on order. Uh, we'll see where we go from here.